welcome back to Caviar and Platinum. Now, if there's one thing we know about refinement, it's this. You can't buy class. But you can buy classy things. And classy things lend an air of elegance to your surroundings. So, in a sense, you can buy class. But you have to go around the back way to get it. Like an illegal umbrella salesman. Still, if you're looking at injecting some class into the kitchen, it's no good just buying expensive crockery and thinking that's going to impress your guests. Although later on, I'll be showing you a range of plates and spoons that will do precisely that. Yes, so make sure you buy them all. But for the moment, what you need is classy food. It's no use buying those top-of-the-range plates. Which I'll be showing you later. It's no use having them if you're serving up a load of oven chips and frozen crispy crumb hooves or something. What you want is a meal that says style, that says flair, that says je suis debonair, and better yet, comes in an easy-to-open aluminium container like this. Fox chunks in porpoise tears. It really is the ultimate in opulence in a tin. It's tender chunks of gently murdered fox swimming in a brine gravy of poor children's tears. The ideal foodstuff for anyone who wants to live like a toff. The foxes are guaranteed to have been killed by huntsmen with an income at least 65% above the national average. And that's a promise. But what about the pauper's tears? Well, they're cried into the tins by row after row of weeping children held in captivity back at the factory, who've been shown pictures of the fox when it was alive, then placed in front of the can and asked to stare at its remains. They're paid just 15 pence for a week's crying, so you can sink into your meal in the knowledge that someone's made a 1,500% markup on their sorrow, which should make it taste all the sweeter. Natalie... Would you like to try this for us? Aren't you going to have it? No, I'm sure it's lovely. Let's have a go then. You're the lucky girl. Mmm. Mm. It tastes like... Well, I always used to think that fox would taste a bit like lamb, but it's surprisingly chicken-like, which is strange because they don't have feathers. And you can really taste the misery in these tears. It really brings out the futility in the dead fox. Mm. And for true elegance, try eating the fox chunks like this. Oh! Call now, and you can buy a six-pack of fox's chunks in pauper's tears for £500.23. Natalie? <laughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of Hog stuck in my teeth. <laughs> mm. Here's what the common people would say if they could afford it. Yeah. Still there. Yeah. I think it's only a matter of time until it gets a celebrity endorsement of some kind. It's amazing to think that mankind could dream up such a wonderful gizmo. I've personally seen a 70% increase since I started using it. Once you've used it, you'll wonder how you ever got by without one. 